What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Shishima. And today I want to show you a quick thing that I didn't mention really in the farming guide. I was going to try to make a separate video for this because I needed to show you the location to find this charm. But this is the charm that you need when you're farming. If you've not seen the farming guide, I will pop it up in the top corner right now so you guys can watch that video because it's going to show you some areas to farm in. But one of these charms that you do want, of course, is this charm right here. I'm not going to try to butcher the name but it's pretty much the charm you need to anytime you're going to farm predator hides, bamboo, you would. Of course, you're going to increase uh, supplies as well. So this is going to give you double the yield pretty much from any of these uh, farming materials that you're going to find along the way while you're adventuring in the game. I've come back right here to the area that I showed you in the video, the farming video, where the two bears are, where the chest is. I'm going to show you how this works real quick. Uh, we'll look at my inventory real fast um, when it comes down to the satchel. As you can see in goods, we have 56 uh, predator hides. So we're going to see how well this charm works. I'm going to show you how well this charm works. As you can see, they're still fighting the bear over here like always. We're going to run through. We're just going to kill the bears real quick. There's really no need to get the chest like I showed you in the video because I'm going to just show, let you see how quick these, uh, or how much supplies you get from these hides. As you can see, there's the normal five. And as you're going to see here in a second, there's an extra plus six. So usually get just get five every time you pick up one of these bear hides uh but if you have this charm on there's plus four and then plus five more so you can see you're getting extra amount each time that you that you're um picking up any of the items like i mentioned supplies hides wood that kind of thing you're gonna get double the amount it makes this a lot easier to do uh farming wise you can get material a lot quicker and i will show you exactly where to get this charm here in just a second after these enemies kill me and kind of reset this whole area but we'll look here again real quick at the uh, amount of supplies that i have so we'll go right down here to collections go to satchel now we have 76 hides you can see in one trip so if you're doing these uh those guides that i showed you on, on or some of those farming spots that i showed you in that farming guide you're going to be able to uh gain a lot of material very very quickly when it comes to like i said uh you know wood and hides now the area that we're going to need to go to for this charm if you do not have it is right down here at the Arrow Peak Shrine. So there's gonna be a fox den nearby. There's also gonna be an area where the Pillar of Honor where you can get a, uh, of course, another skin for one of the swords. But when you're down here at the Arrow Peak Shrine, which I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you guys can kinda of see where, are, where I'm at. Of course, I am on the southern part of the map. You're gonna go right here between Archer's Rise, uh, below, uh, a little above the foothills, below the pond. But once you're here, this is a fairly easy, uh, charm to find but it is kind of tricky at the same time a really good thing about this area is if you're wanting to farm wood this is one of the best areas to farm wood in the game there's tons of wood that uh, kind of spawns up right around this area so you can pretty much run up the hill after you already have the charm go to the top of course it will transport you back down the hill and then you can just grab more wood um, as you can see this is where you're going to come in where you start so what you're going to do is go right around this trail like i said there's tons of wood and flowers and things around this edge just going to follow this edge around picking up the bamboo along the way you would along the way and as you can see we're getting plus two now of that you would with this charm on we're going to go under this crawl space here come out the other side squeeze through this crack now when you're out in this area sometimes there will be some flowers and things you can see on these little ledges so you might just want to keep an eye out above your head and things like that and things little rocks there'll be flowers and you know whatever the case may be it could be some more wood but i'm just going to follow this rock around here you're going to drop off you're going to go right up here then you're going to be to this point now sometimes there will be some flowers and things around up here so keep that in mind you're going to jump straight across Go around the rock face and it's going to take you down to the next spot of course we're going to go up and you're going to see another burnout bridge so when you see this burnout bridge here you know you're just about there so what you're going to do is go through this crack right here to the left make sure you pick up this wood along the way also and just follow these tree limbs pretty much around the edge of the rock faces I almost really messed that up <laughs> then what you're gonna do 
this poor hop off right here. Then make your way up. To this area here. And you are to the top, and this is where you can receive this charm. Like I said, this is a great charm to have if you are going to farm. And just keep in mind, if you are new to the game, you can swap out charms at any time. So if you want, if you're going into battle, you're wanting to be more sneaky, you can swap out for whatever charms you want, charms of healing, whatever the case may be. But this charm, like I said, increases supplies, predator hides, bamboo, and you would gain from collecting. Very, very handy thing to have when farming. And like I said, there's a lot of wood and stuff up here anyway. So the great thing you can do, of course, is just make your way back down. Uh, or you can just go in right here to the options and restart from last checkpoint. You'll be very, very close to this area. Start all over. Now, the wood does not spawn in the exact location every time that it was the first time you came through, but there's always wood and flowers up here anytime you reset it. So this is a good place to farm wood and flowers along with getting a charm that is really helpful when farming. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. Be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate on the channel. All their information is linked down in the description. And also, you can join the Discord community. That information is linked down in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.